When the housing market crashed, times got tough for the carpet industry, centralized in northwest Georgia. So the question is, how have huge companies with thousands of employees survived? News Channel 9's Latricia Thomas takes us inside Mohawk Industries to find the answer and show us how all that carpet is made in Dalton. One step inside one of the largest plants in the carpet capital of the world. And it's easy to see how Dalton earned the title. About 75% of the country's carpet is produced right here in the North Georgia area. Mohawk Industries led us inside one of their Dalton plants, where some of the 2,000 employees here turned fiber into this yarn, carried by tubes to the needles in what's essentially it's a giant sewing machine. The tufting machines that press the yarn through the carpet backing are such an important part of the process. Some think they may have helped slow the shrink of the carpet business here. The Dalton has been able to maintain its position in what's fundamentally textile business is that we've made so much investment to produce the product so efficiently that's allowed us to essentially difficult to compete. After tufting, this is undyed product. The rolls are dyed, steamed, and set before their first visual inspection. We run the product through here for another set of eyes. Add a quick layer of latex to bind the backing. That's the latex, and that's actually acting as the adhesion. And the carpet's ready for the roll, just one of the many products that helps Mohawk loom large in the industry. While the industry has changed and perhaps shrunk, a lot of the manufacturers in it have expanded in their footprint in the industry, and that's made it even more important in North Georgia in terms of the industry's footprint as well as to Mohawk. For Made in Dalton, I'm Latricia Thomas. A Mohawk has 32 facilities across northwest Georgia and employs 6,500 people, a number that's even more important when you consider September's unemployment rate in Dalton was more than 11 percent.